Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, that's your line. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. How's this it going, guys? Obviously, Steven. It's from Josh Meyer, Imaginary Authors. Did I say that already? If not, well, it's from Josh Meyer, Imaginary Authors. It's his new fragrance called All Unknown, and he and I, Steven, and I are going to unbox it for you live. Let's well, see not this. live. Well, you know, keep it right there. Pretend it's live. <laughs> So as I said in the intro, it's an Imaginary Authors. The new release just came out like yesterday or the day before. It came out this week, yeah. 2017 in October. It's called Oh Unknown. Mm -hmm. So it came in this box and we're going to unbox it. With cool. Carlos and his dangerous scissor. Still hasn't gotten a, a box cutter yet. But this I'm, is not, I'm not afraid. You should be. <laughs> you know I'm a klutz. <laughs> Comes with a postcard. A bookmark which comes with all of his fragrances. Very cool. Got the cheese doodles in there. We got the cheese doodles. The white cheddar. I was going to throw the box over my shoulder for the first time, but since there's so much white cheddar cheese doodles in here, I'm not going to do that. Get it. That's fine. Here is the box that it comes in, cool. which is supposed to look like a book if you look on the side there. And the bookmark. As you know, or if you don't know, the line is based on imaginary authors and imaginary novels which are written by these imaginary authors and each one has each fragrance has a different story behind it mm -hmm. this one is about it's about a guy who was told he has less than a year to live so mm -hmm. he went traveling wanted to explore the unknown um all of this really great information is online on their website and uh it also has a quote here on the bookmark and it says it is a mystery to me why the further i am from home the closer i am to god so wow. that just sort of gives off a vibe of... The yeah, guy was soul-searching, basically. He found some spirituality in, uh, in China Went and China Bangladesh and... or something yeah. of that nature. Anyway, so this one is called Oh Unknown. We'll open it up. This has a so, lot of nice notes that yeah, I personally love. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Go yeah. ahead, go for it. So yeah, we do have iris in there. We have black oh, tea. Oris butter. Oris butter, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Lapsang Sushong Tincture. Uh, Kyoto Moss, Musk Balsam, Sandalwood, and Question Marks. So uh, one of the things that this company is sort of known for is, in addition to the whole imaginary novel and author concept, each fragrance also has imaginary notes in there. Mm -hmm. So like if you buy A City on Fire, the imaginary note is Burnt Match. Right? Which is, comes Mosaic, across. Mosaic, I think, is Artesian Well, so on and so forth. So this one, the imaginary note is Question Mark. It sits in this. This is a travel spray. I believe it's 17 mil. If you didn't know, they typically come with a sample hidden inside there on the bottom. I think that's really cool. There's usually like a little pull thing so you can pull it out, mm -hmm. which I've broken at Twisted the Lead live oh, <laughs> once. Because no. <laughs> I'm a klutz. I told you I'm a klutz. And that was for an unsold, like something that they were planning on selling? Correct. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. So that's the presentation portion and notes portion of this video yeah i will try to get this back could you put it back yeah together? let's do this so you are a huge fan of iris i am yeah and uh and lately tea and this is precisely that the, yeah those are the strongest notes that i got when i did the review with him on his channel <sighs> this has a wonderful wonderful tea opening and then it morphs into rather quickly that really full and gorgeous i'm going to use olio's word velvety oris butter Ooh, she yeah, yeah, velvety. Yeah. it's really nice i haven't put it on skin and it also has a plumminess which you pointed yeah. out on your video i was thinking apricot and sometimes tea uh no not tea i was thinking perhaps maybe osmanthus okay is maybe that note i say maybe osmanthus and you say maybe plum yeah or it just has something fruity in there. You know, jammy. the more I smell it, jammy, right. The more I smell it, it actually uh, reminds me of Cape Heartache a little bit. Like almost like the two have a common ingredient. For me, I love, that's one of my favorite imaginary authors is Cape Heartache. And uh -huh. for me, the standout note in that fragrance is the- The resin. The, the, the pine, pine resin. Yeah. It's me too. Kill, killer, me too. killer, killer, killer. Perfect for the holiday time and stuff. Uh-huh. I love that one, especially like around the winter time. For me, I can smell it just 
you wafting yeah. it back and forth. Like, it's, it's strong. You can smell it. You can smell it. Seriously, though, I've been with Josh. I've been friends with Josh since the beginning. Thank you for your friendship and all your generosity through the years. For me, this shows a huge growth and development as a perfumer. Mm. Not that his stuff wasn't good. I, I love a lot of his fragrances. Maybe one or two don't work for me. You can't love everything in every single line. This just shows a major growth and also his ability to make such a well-rounded... It, it smells very niche to me. Yeah. He yeah. is niche, independent niche, but this smells like really, really exceptionally well done. Like pretty polished, right? Yeah. And he'll tell you, he'll be the first one to tell you, I didn't, I didn't love everything, and I, I don't like to review things that I don't really love. It's more exciting if I just like it or if it's okay and if I love it. Yeah. It comes yeah. off I know what you mean. more genuine and I feel better as a reviewer. So that's why, it's, you know, I, I don't like to bash this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love it. It's good. I'm not just saying it. It's yeah. I, I like it. It's really good. It so, is really good. It is. It is, truly. <laughs> he went, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I give the thumbs up. <laughs> oh, it looks like you went like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's Carlos Wolf. <laughs> Look, you uh, you smell, you know, pretty much everything that's in there. The tea, the iris, there's that mossy quality, there's sandalwood in there, it's woodsy, it has that little fruitiness, kind of reminiscent of Cape Heartache, has like a plum vibe. But it's, it's well maybe it's rounded. a purple. I see the purple <laughs> and I think a plum. I don't know. There's something fruity-ish. It's awesome. Sweet. It's really good. But it's, it's really just good. really well balanced and polished to me. Yeah. Yeah. And I only use that word for fragrances I love, if you haven't noticed. Oh, wow. So it's, it's so, a good one. Good job, good. sir. Yeah. It is. It's very good. So if you'd like to check out his work, he offers samples. You can go to the Imaginary Authors website. You can get a sample there. You can get a travel size if you don't want to commit to a full bottle, mm -hmm. which is rather reason expensive. reasonably priced. I, I don't know exactly the cost, but yeah. it's definitely worth a smell if you guys like Iris. Iris. So that's what we have to say on O oh, Unknown. Tell them about the Unknown Note. Oh, um, you said it already. A little bit. Uh, we don't really know what it is. I mean, there's speculation, but um, usually we're pretty good at pointing it out. Mm -hmm. You know, like in City on Fire, we know it's that smoking nuance, which ended up being Cade. Mm -hmm. Right? Cade is kind of spoky. It which reminds me of Birch Tar. Yeah. But uh, this one, I don't know. It's something fruity. Josh, when you uh, have a minute, let us know what that mystery note is, okay? If you will. If you'd be so kind. And thank you for being so kind for tuning in to watch this unboxing, this first impression, sort of-ish, because I did review it with him. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please do click on that bell icon so you don't miss any future notifications on new content, new reviews, giveaways, and unboxings, and buddies doing the frag talk thing online for you. Take care, and we'll see you at the next review. Bye, bye.